Atlas Stationers coming at you live from the Chicago Pen Show. We are not at our retail store for this video. We are here in Hoffman Estates exhibiting at one of the best pen shows in the United States. So we thought it would be fun to go live and walk you through our setup. There are over hundreds of vendors here, um, custom pen makers, retailers such as ourselves, distributors, manufacturers. So it is quite exciting. So if you're able to make it, please look up the chicagopenshow.com. All of the information is prevalent there. Brian, let's walk in here and show the people watching our setup. This year, we've gone with six tables. Three tables are going to be for stationery, ink, accessories, and then three tables are going to be for pens. So as you walk through the double doors from the atrium, you can walk over here, hard to miss us. We've got our blue tablecloths out and we are exhibiting a ton of products today. If you look right here, we've got Lamy, Caveco, Esterbrook, Pilot. And as we get closer and closer to the middle of the table, we'll get into some of our high-end fine writing instruments. Yeah, and we'll showcase this. We have the brand new Ferris wheel press carousels, tumultuous tides. This just got released today. We have a limited quantity here and do still have some on our website and at our retail store and uh do you see some comments looks like we've got at least two-thirds of the dream team in here fantastic hopefully they can start recruiting some more members see how we many people we can get on the, the, dream, the dream team, team. we love the dream team we might make a t-shirt or a sticker for you guys speaking of stickers this is the chicago pen show sticker for this year our atlas sticker with our logo the nib as well as the skyline we decided not to put 2023 or the Chicago Pen Show text on here because we wanted to leave this an open-ended sticker that we can use at later dates. So let us know in the comments how you like the design for this year's sticker. Yeah, and I uh, got somebody asking uh, just a question about Leonardo, asking if we take special orders. Uh, send us a message. Uh, we do place orders with Leonardo. I don't know if we'll have any special orders, but we do bring out new releases all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can email us or uh, send a message through the chat on our website, we can take a look for you. All right, and so Ryan, let's keep going here. Yeah, let me just point out a couple of the new releases that we are featuring, such as the Caveco Bronze Sport. This one sold out right away upon its release. So we got a restock here. We've got some available at the show as well as online and our retail store. Our retail store is open with regular hours of operation. We have our team over there, so if you want to stop by, please do so. And then we also have our website up and running 24 hours a day. We've got inventory allocated to that as well. Um, let's see what else we've got. What are we featuring? Yeah, we've got quite a bit from Pilot. Almost every single Pilot pen that we carry, we've got here in all the different nip sizes. We have the new 743s and the U.S. exclusive 743 in green here. Yeah, this pen is incredibly popular. It's the first North American exclusive that Pilot has brought here into the U.S. Beautiful design. Um, we are also featuring a nice assortment of their Arushi and Machiai pens. These ones will get up to uh, about 4,800. So if you look at how beautiful this is, the artwork behind it, the time it takes to produce one of these is crazy it takes months to do so again the assortment today is absolutely wild um, let's step over here brian yeah and we we can always here. circle back we'll yep. circle back and show some of the higher end pieces um, but we are featuring a lot of paniter yeah we've got um, paniter if you watch our tiktoks we do have the Twin take touchdowns. We do a lot of the filling up videos with these, the vacuum filler. We've got all the colors here. We should have all the nib sizes. What else do we got? Yeah, we've got uh, some Parkers, some Waterman, some Pelicans. And then we've got um, some nice lower end items over here at this end, your Twisbees, your Narwhals, all of that good stuff. And then also, folks, Brian's going to turn around here. We've got a very special guest, Mr. <laughs> Bryce Gillette of Luxury Brands of America, repping a ton of products. He's What's got on, all of his collection here today featuring right across from us. Take it away, Bryce. Yeah, hey, guys, how you doing? I'm going to just clip this right here just for a second. Hold on. All right, yeah, so how you doing? Uh, we're at the Chicago Pin Show. I'm Bryce Gillette with Luxury Brands. We have 
you might have seen me at the Atlas store where we have a smaller range, but today we have, if you see down the line, we have all the products that we represent. Yeah, um, looks like you've got six tables yeah, worth. Yeah, six so. tables worth of stuff. So we have Noodlers here, along with Ink Miser, one of the best um, ink and just fountain pen accessories that you can have is the Ink Miser, a really cool thing there. We have all the collections from the Colorverse. We have the new Kingdom series, the new Minwa, the new art cards, um, as well as their best sellers um, up here that, that Brian's showing this right is now. Awesome. We have. Yeah, you've got like every Colorverse. Yeah, There's we have as have. much Colorverse as we could bring. So we have all the states. Um, then we have the Nebula series as well. That's the sister company of Colorverse. It makes amazing paper, super fountain pen friendly. If you like a little bit of tooth, but not too much tooth, um, in your uh, writing and, and uh, on your paper, that's kind of a great option for you if you like that. We have Platinum as well. We have the Procyons. We have the Machier, the modern Machier 3776s. If you've never tried a 3776 before, we have their nib testing station. You can try out all, awesome. yeah, all eight different nib sizes, ultra extra fine through double broad and their music nib here. So, you know, you can give uh, a nib a test drive before you actually buy it. See if yeah, that's kind of the size that you want. All the 3776s right here in their standard series, right? Yep, yeah. So we got all the colors. Uh, we have as many of the celluloids that we could bring. Unfortunately, right now we're out of stock on a lot of them, but we brought as much as we could along with the Nice versions of that. And then we have the uh, the big boys. We have the Platinum Azumos. We have all all three bamboo. These are hand-woven bamboo that they coat in Yurushi lacquer. It's got an 18-karat gold nib with a um, the Azumo logo and the Azumo cloud on the nib. There, it's really, really cool. That is awesome. We have the Timonuri um, Azumos here as well in the green, the tan, and the red. We have the Sea of Clouds as well as the Aurora, the Galaxy, and the Orokamon. And of course, we also have the Kyrados here as well. So we have pretty much got everything that Platinum offers. And, and I do have um, a question for you, Bryce. Yeah. There's new Kyrados that are coming out. Yeah. When are those getting launched? Those should be. Uh, either May or June. Ah, so um, yes, yeah, so soon. very soon. Yeah, and those are those are really really awesome. The matte finish on them is kind of like a rubberized, and it's really really nice. Yeah, and we've got them on our website, and they're coming soon. If everyone wants to take a, a peek and see what we're talking about there. Yep. And uh, let me get caught up here. Uh, Tom asks. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna load this onto YouTube after, so you can take a look. Yep, it'll be up in a couple days, maybe later today even. Yeah, and of course we have Waldman, the um, limited edition Tango Imagination in the dark teal is here. We only have a few of those left. Um, actually, everything that we have here is all we have left. Okay. So, um, and of course the Tango Imaginations in the regular colors. Um, we have the Press U and multiple different variations. I love this Whoa, one with are... the uh, with the diamond cap. That is awesome. It's really showing off well on the video here. So that wow. is actually a hand etched uh, cap. So they actually take a CNC machine and they are a, a, a kind of like a lathe, to be honest. And they actually like hand do that pattern, which is amazing. Another thing that, that Waldman hand does is the Zetra Vienna. So the Zetra Vienna is a hand engraved cap by a master engraver at Waldman. And it also comes in a black version as well as a diamond and they just came out with three new limited edition colors the blue the pink and the green so i would definitely yeah and those we have on our website as well if you want to yeah. take a look another thing that up. that atlas has on their website uh we are completely sold out and waldman is completely sold out of the jubilee 105 their 105th anniversary pin so if you want that pin all of them are at the retailers, so you should go get it now because once it's gone, it's gone. So, and of course, you 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 can't mistake Banu. I mean, Banu is iconic in their design language and just their writing ability. Not only do they look good, but they write good. Uh, they come with a lifetime warranty, and it's something that um, really turned the fountain pen industry kind of on its head. 
with all their crazy colors and glitters and even now with the talisman collection all of these pins have each of their namesake incorporated into the resin of the pin so for example this pin is called fox glove they actually took the fox glove plant and put it ground it up and put it into the resin of the pin and it's supposed to give you uh it's supposed to adorn upon you the magical properties of each of those substances which is pretty cool the coolest thing about those pens honestly i didn't even know about that That's yeah they actually had pieces of, of yeah. things in the resin and what's cool so, you know like the four leaf clover of course four leaf clovers are meant to be you know with good luck things like that they have little glitter pieces of four leaf clovers in there but they also actually took four leaf clovers ground them up and put them in the pen so you know if you're if you're at a uh, interview or something like that pull out that four leaf clover give you a little bit extra good luck you know, it can't hurt. Yeah, yeah before no. we move on, we, we kind of yeah. talked, we gave a brief uh, spoiler that we have our own Banu coming. You do, yeah. Very soon. Yep. Uh, hopefully soon. So keep Actually, I think up. I just got, uh, I actually just got a text from Kate today that it shipped. Okay. So, so it should be here very, very, very soon. soon. Yeah. That is awesome. So be on the lookout for that. We have our own exclusive Banu that should be arriving then hopefully in the next few weeks. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very cool. I will say it's it's one of the best looking Banus that they've done in, in a while. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Someone asking, is there going to be a tiny L train in it? Uh, <laughs> you know, it does have some Chicago or what we like to think of. As, uh, That's Chicago actually amazing. So maybe that'll be the next one. I love that. That's awesome. That's a great idea. Um, so we have D. Charles. One of, uh, a two, one of two leather lines that we represent. D. Charles and Girologio. Uh, D. Charles is an amazing brand that protects your pins really, really well. It, it's all uh, top grain leather made in India, really high quality stuff. So that's definitely um, something if you're looking for some pin storage or uh, just to be able to transport your pins from place to place, definitely D. Charles or Girologio, kind of the two staple uh, two staples, yeah, one that, of two staples in the industry. Got a so. couple questions here. Yeah. Uh, Someone wants to know if they can get the color, at least, for the Banu. We'll say it is uh, inspired. But you know, like, Banu's, Banu's are never the just one color. Yeah, that's true. So we'll give it. It's, <laughs> it's inspired by... Uh, a big landmark. Yeah. Right? I I'd guess say we could say. What, one of the things that Chicago is really known for. Yeah. All right. And uh, we should have some probably some more teasers coming out soon. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. How much do they average? If we're talking about the Banu's... They're right around like 140 to 160 dollars. Yeah, yeah. So, depending on um, the finish there. so just kind of give everybody an idea. So the Euphorias are here, and all these are 145 to 162, depending on if they glow in the dark or not. Because there are some that glow in the dark, like like this one glows in the dark. So it's a little bit more expensive to make. Um, the Briolettes here, these range from like 80 to 90. The talismans here that we were talking about with all the resins and the materials in the um, in the resin, these are 162, and then the um, skulls and roses is also around 160. So we do have somebody uh, chiming in. Well, most of our landscapes are gray, so it's either the tower, the bean, or the blue of the lake. Uh, it has something to do with one of those three things. Yes. I'll give you that. Yes, I will give you that. Yep. Yeah. So D. Charles, great. Also, we have uh, Endless. It looks like our lights went off. Hold on one second. There we go. Um, Endless it makes also incredible paper. Their new Regalia paper uh, is what they replaced Tomorrow River with. It's an amazing 80 gram paper, really fountain pen friendly. Um, it's got a kind of like a Cosmo Air Light feel to it. So if you're familiar with that, it's very similar to, to that. And they've got something new on the horizon, don't they? Yeah, they do. They have the, um, they have the, well, they have the Explorer and that's, that's like relatively new, but they do have the new fountain, uh, retractable fountain pen called the Creator coming. And that should be here soon. There are some manufacturing delays with that. Um, but it's going to be a retractable fountain pen at $50 MSRP. So it's, it's kind of an unheard of and remarkable feat that they achieved with being able to make a retractable fountain pen at that price point. So 
So, and you're getting some good feedback with the lights. Everything is showing off great ah, and good. sparkly. So good, nice good. job there. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just so come them... on down to Chicago Pin Show. We'd love to see you guys yeah. and um, show you all this beautiful stuff. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you, Bryce. Yeah. I'll grab that. Give it back to Brenda. Yo, 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 yo. We are back. We are ready to rock. I just wanted to show one more real quick unless everyone else is set up. So how the show works is we have obviously our entire product line here. Um, and then the distributors or our vendors, they bring their selection. So another vendor I want to talk about is Visconti and ST DuPont. We've got Mark Sloan here, our representative. So he brought his entire collection of all of the DuPont, um, including the new Defi Millenniums, the Line D Large Vitruvian Man, and then an absolute banger of a piece, the ST DuPont Love Paris. So this is the whole display. This is actually the pen right here, this beautiful, beautiful detailed building. Comes with this entire stand. You can do a few different sets, the writing kit, the collector set, the smoking set, which comes with a lighter, all of that good stuff. So that's little, this year's edition. Yeah, we got last year's. I'm shocked years that we ago. have a space odyssey here. This is last year's edition. And you know what? We're putting Mark to work. Let me introduce you all to Mark. You saw him two days ago at the shop. What's up, he guys? is what's back. Happening? Ready to go. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Obviously, Chicago Pen Show. Atlas is here representing as well. It's been a very busy morning so far. It's been pretty uh, pretty intense, which is good to see. Obviously, we're showcasing a lot of great product. I brought the big guns out. So as we can see, can see here, we have the ST DuPont Loves Paris riding kit. And the pen is absolutely beautiful in celebration of the 150th year anniversary of ST DuPont. We have the Vitruvian Man over here. Again, another gorgeous pen. I'm sure people are relatively familiar with that guy. And then Brian, we have the big gun. We have the Space Odyssey Collector's Set. So the Collector's Set, for those that don't know, you have obviously the beautiful pen. That is something else. That's just another level right there. Yeah, and you're kind of Sure. I'm able to see a, you know the lack of work on that in the camera, but to see it in person is really something else. One thing it I really love looks like a galaxy on. That. Yeah, one thing I love about this pen, if I just take the take the top off, is all the detailing wrapped around the grip section. I mean, you know, it's that just is. just another level, literally. And obviously, you get the lighter as well. The lighter is really cool. Comes on the nice holder as well. Again, the lacquered body, the detailing wrapped around the whole lighter here with the DuPont signage as well. Yeah, it's really cool. You've got that like Lunar Lander stand there. Yep. That is something else. Comes with the full set, comes with the ink, the ashtray. Obviously, that's for the collector, the people that are connected to the space world. And then coming over to Visconti here, we're very excited to launch our new Davina in the Tiffany blue, which is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, people were very excited to see this this morning, which has been doing really well. Fountain pen, roller, and ballpoint on those guys. And then right next door, we have the Opera Gold that we launched earlier this year. Really good price point for a Visconti pen. Double reservoir power filler. Beautiful large steel nib on those as well. Hook safe lock. You get everything you really want to see in a Visconti pen at a phenomenal price point. So that's done really well for us. We're excited to showcase that here as yeah, well. Yeah, and we do have all these Viscontis, all these new releases are on our website, should be in stock. So if you're visiting our retail store uh, or on our website, atlasstationers.com, everything should be ready to go. Yep. Obviously, another one that we launched this year, the Lotus Garden, the Homo Sapiens Limited Edition with the black trim that I personally love, which has been really cool. That is so sharp. Really unique, very sharp. Obviously, you get different. Everyone's a little bit different, right? So it's about, you know, getting the one that, that you really want, whether it's more of a heavier body, maybe a clearer body so you can see the ink more. So that's the that's the Lotus Garden as well. We obviously have I the, don't think we sh I don't even know if we've shown these on live yet. Before. The backgammons. These, the, yeah, these are pretty cool. The backgammons are really cool, Brian. I mean, you get the two different styles. The bottoms are a little bit different. Um, one's a little bit more crazier than the other. But this is a backgammon pen. It is a twist opening. Twist opening on this. This is a roller, so I'm going to open it up. You obviously get the clear ink window there as well. 
super unique on the bottom of that with the doubling cube twist closure and it comes in a really neat display you actually get a backgammon little set and display you get all the works there so that's really cool we love that and then let me show you while we're here I always love to show people the Defi Millennium. A lot of people are obviously relatively familiar with this pen. Great entry level price point for ST DuPont. A little bit sportier than your usual traditional DuPont, but still has the DNA and the works of what you expect from an ST DuPont pen. You get the hooded nib right there. The bottom is a little bit edgier, just a little bit more unique. And the, the clip. Magnetic closure, but the clip's a little bit longer than the cap itself. So just some really cool features there that just make it a little bit different. People love it. Fountain pen, rollerball, and the ballpoint right there. So we're showcasing those today as well. And obviously, Atlas Station is carry that as yeah, well. Yeah, we've got those on our website and in our store. And you know, the Millennium is just such a, a great addition to SU Pond. Having a more accessible pen. Yeah to get you into the brand and then you kind of work your way up to just some of these amazing Absolutely, great price point on the Defi Millennium. So do really well. We're excited to have it. Great colors in that. Black, good metal, and then the colorful ones as well. So that's awesome. what we got going on. All right. Mr. Marky Mark of Coles of London. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you. So he'll be here all weekend as well. Um, Brian, I think we're going to cut the live video after we show the rest of our booth. We've got other vendors here that we'll showcase, but yeah, we might split that you up walk in over a separate there, video either later today or tomorrow. Sorry, I'm hustling away from from uh, Brian here. So let's finish off the selection real quick. Obviously, we had to bring some of our high-end pieces, such as the legendary Batman uh, from Monte Grappa. We've also got the Lord of the Rings, the Skull and Roses, just a whole bunch of great items ready to go. Um, as we showed off earlier, we've got some of the entry-level pieces over here. Yeah, actually, just remind me, I saw a comment. Someone was asking earlier what the Twin Take Touchdown meant for the Peniter. So we got every color right here. Um, here's the clear one you see on our channel all the time. We've actually got a video going viral right now. just broke a million views. That's on our page, which is incredibly exciting to see. And Brian, yeah, and the whole point of that pen, it's got a... It's got two reservoirs. I'll show you in one second. Let me clip the mic. Yeah, and then we got Tom asking, do we have a good, you need to find a good carbon fiber pen. Yes, we do have some carbon fiber pens here. Here's the twin tank you push down. It's got a, a locking and unlocking mechanism. And then if you want to prime the pen, you can actually pump it, pump ink into the writing chamber. Yeah, um, does that pen have two reservoirs to stop it from yep. leaking? Right? So, right so that's here, what the twin tank Yeah, so the gasket right here is actually sealing ink from this barrel into this chamber. So you cannot transfer ink. Whatever ink you have in here, that's what ink you have. Once it, it runs out, it's done. So to unlock it, you see how the gasket moves upwards like that? When you unlock it, now ink is able to flush through here. The seal is no longer there. So that's the twin tank option really cool um here is a carbon fiber pen we've got the the monteverde super mega this is a beast of a pen here um, we've got it in rose gold and in gunmetal here this is a great price hovers around like 150 for an all carbon fiber pen and of this size that's a great deal so, yeah and if you want to go next level with the carbon it's not the carbon fiber but do we have those carbon pens well actually we do have the rollerball yeah, this one is the Monte Grappa F1. This one's about 2000 So this one's pretty crazy. And then SU DuPont has the, the Fiery there. Lava. There we go. Which Mark has the whole selection at his booth, but we just have the one Fiery Lava. This pen is made in France. Beautiful design. Beautiful elements involved. Cool. Yeah, and so I think what we do is pan around just to show everyone the show one more time and i'm sure we're gonna go live again uh yeah see some of our other vendors i know we've got pelican here we've got pilot here uh who else do we got there's we got, got everyone carta here we've got everyone uh, who we just picked up so yeah there's a lot of yeah so let's pan around brands. and then let's let's end this video because i want to make sure that it's not too lengthy and also things are picking up here so brian why don't you pan around yeah so this is the rest of our booth we got over a, 300 inks here tons we brought of stationery. a ton of ink 
We've got the newest releases from Ferris Wheel Press, and uh, we've got new releases from Waringal coming in. Um, Shipman is not here yet. And then it's here, not here is yet. everything Hopefully else. We've got afternoon. our swatch book and then a ton of paper. All right. And uh, we're going to end it there. We'll work on getting this uploaded to you, uh, YouTube if anyone wants to watch it again. And then uh, sometime later today and then probably tomorrow, uh, we will be going live again, showing off some of the other brands that we have here and walking you around the show. Uh, but anyone else has any questions, comments, let us know. Otherwise, we're going to end it now. All right. You good, Brendan? Yeah, folks, I think that is going to do it. Thank you so much for the love. Really appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for the next live. And as always, stay smooth. Peace.